Hi, I'm Brent Ressler, and I was part of a group that started a youth center in our small town of Chillicothe, Illinois, about 10 years ago. And to celebrate the 10th anniversary of this place, we wanted to make a video. Well, instead of just making a commercial uh, for this place, we decided to make a documentary about what it takes to have a youth center in a small town. Uh, as part of that film, you always hope as a filmmaker to capture the essence of what you're trying to say in maybe one particular moment in the film. Well, we had that moment, but it did not happen on video. I received a letter from a former student of mine that is now actually in prison, and in that letter he talked about the impact this youth center had in his life or could have had if he had been more involved. So since we didn't get that on video, we decided to have some of the students who are now involved read Rich's letter and share that with you. So it's sort of the essence of the video. Uh, you'll also see some of the ministries that we have going on as part of that, but we thought that would be a great way to show you the impact that a place like this could have in the life of a student. So we hope you enjoy it, and we hope you're blessed by it, and we hope it also encourages you to try to get something like this started in your own town. Thanks. My name is Rich. 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 I am a Christian in prison. I'm a Christian in prison. My name is Rich, and I'm a Christian in prison. The Crossroad Cafe is a fun, safe, God-inspired environment to socialize in. And is a must for a town as small as Chillicothe. Without the Crossword Cafe, Chile has little to offer the youth that doesn't require some fee or qualification to gain admittance. It is a place where Christians and non-believers alike have an opportunity to learn about God. Participate in skits and organize volunteer groups that impact the community, or just play a game of pool. Whatever the activity, it is a positive, motivated environment. Unfortunately, many people take it for granted. They fail to utilize the cafe to its fullest potential. There are people there who can help you learn and grow. As Christians and as individuals. Regrettably, I took it for granted. Regrettably, I took it for granted. Regrettably, I took it for granted. Doing so, I strayed from the one place that I was least likely to get mixed up in some kind of nonsense. I regret that to this day. And I write with this the intentions of diverting people from a life filled with sin and the negative habits I had. Instead, let them know life on earth is short. Your life is a gift and is to be used to glorify and praise God. I want to leave you with one question. If what you do doesn't define you, what does? We get free food on Tuesday nights. I think it keeps kids out of trouble, keeps them off the streets, less drugs, um, keeps them focused. Uh, there's pool and John, it's a lot of fun, and someone to hang out. Uh, because it's just like, it's like a, a place where I felt like I could be safe. I think there's like a, you know, if somebody was gonna like start, you know, giving me a hard time or my friends a hard time, it's like here there was usually somebody who could step in and kind of break it up. And I wouldn't have to worry about it, which is nice. Some somebody might not know where somebody might not have somewhere to go. And they could come here for a while. I think it's awesome. I think it's a really good idea because it's like, I don't know, I feel like in a town as small as this, most of the kids do know each other and have like, you know, opinions about each other. And you know, they like some people and they don't like other people. But I feel like I know a lot of the kids that don't like each other. I still see them in here at the same time hanging out. to make a place like this work in a small town is to have people who are committed, who really care. Uh, people that will stick it out when the funding might not be there, when we're not exactly fully staffed. Uh, it takes a while uh, to build up those kind of people uh, in a community like this. I think what it takes is uh, the adult people involved to really care about the youth. 
I mean truly care, deeply care, and to be able to express that when they uh, communicate with kids, when they uh, have interaction with them, and that they would be willing to develop a relationship with the kids, that the, the adult uh, staff would uh, would be uh, transparent themselves and genuine and convey that to the, to the kids. Ten years is a long time to keep something like this going. When we started, we had the vision to have it be a place where bands could play, where there could be music, uh, be a walk-in center after school, and we feel like God's really uh, done that. He's kept it open for ten years, even when things have been tight. The secondary things would be just the things that we offer, uh, things to do. It, ne it needs to be a cool place, and part of the coolness will be the that you have uh, staff there, but the other part will be uh, just fun stuff to do and that, that type of thing. Um, we have that and, and the fun stuff to do doesn't have to be uh, expensive and fancy and electronic. It can be a ping pong game. It can be a, 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 a game of cards or, you know, a game of chess even. Uh, those kinds of things. Uh, folks praying for it, uh, people supporting it financially, and students using it, you know. Um, Christian kids finding out it's a place they can come and uh, build relationships with their friends, hang out with, uh, with people who care about them and have mentors. All those things together uh, make it successful. And so I really believe that uh, it takes commitment. Having a person like uh, we have in our director, John Heffern, and his wife, Chris, people who are sticking it out, whether uh, things are easy, um, that's what it takes. And we've found that. God's provided that for us. And it's kept this place open for 10 years. And not just open, but really ministering to youth in this community. Other than that, it's, it's just a matter of uh, uh, caring about the kids and make, listening to them and just making this place theirs. The most rewarding part about being involved with something like this is seeing uh, kids who are impacted uh, through the ministry. Those that uh, build a, a relationship with an adult or another student uh, that's based on trust and the opportunity then uh, for those kids to see Christ uh, in the believers that are part of this place. When a student uh, opens up with a volunteer staff, or, or even me, but uh, when, they, when they would bother to share something of their life with us, and uh, that's key. Uh, and the other thing would be to see the volunteer staff grow, and we've had some that grow or come out of their comfort zone and develop relationships with kids than you'd never expect it to happen. But if you get to build a relationship with a kid that you otherwise never would have gotten to know, then the time spent here is worth it. And I think that's the biggest challenge here too, is to, to uh, have people find out that it is worth it. It is worth the sacrifice of time, um, energy, effort to be here to build those relationships in a context that uh, allows them to meet somebody they probably otherwise wouldn't have met. And so I think God can use that, and I think He has in 10 years. Um, I have a ministry uh, opportunity to build a relationship with a guy who's in prison now, and Rich, uh, who we've heard uh, some of his letter that he wrote. Um, I wouldn't have that otherwise um, if I wasn't for a place like this or getting a chance to get to know him as a youth pastor. Uh, so those are the kind of opportunities to come. They might not result in the kid coming to Christ right there on the spot, but it can be a long-term relationship that uh, will result in impact in the life of a student. So it, it is worth it, and it is a challenge to get people to find out that it's worth it. So um, we just hope that in the next 10 years that continues, that uh, more people will catch on. The cafe is run with volunteer staff, and uh, people have a lot of commitments, and to get ourselves fully staffed is some kind, times kind of tricky, uh, but uh, 
that's something we are always looking for is uh, adult people and uh, young adult people that uh, really want to have a ministry with teens and boy this is the place to do it Smack and some middle, somebody might not know where uh, well, somebody yeah. might not so, have somewhere to go and they can come here for a while very cool good you guys did great Your lies in the morning will finally have run out. 